Well, right, welcome. This is a uh, tutorial for Abandonia by Tiltone186 on how to set up DOSBox and its uh, how to get it running with games. With um, basically the tutorial that the Fifth Horseman's written up himself on the site, but in a visual form for anyone who's having trouble with understanding the concepts presented within. Um, the first thing you want to do is uh, to download DOSBox from the DOSBox.com or use the the link on Abandonia to go to the DOSBox and download it. Um, once you've done, you need to install it. Uh, and the best place to install it to is inside your user file. Uh, at least that's the case for Vista and Windows 7, which are the only two systems I run on. So the only two I can actually guarantee that this works properly. Um, the reason to do it into users is because if you're not the admin of the computer, you're on a guest account, blah, blah, blah. Um, people won't be able to save properly in some games, won't be able to run the config properly, stuff like that. It, it just sort of, it's the security systems of Windows will pr try and stop people from editing the files in your normal C drive within users. Um, Vista and 7 just don't care what you're really doing. As you can see, I've already actually installed it um, with inside my user file, even though I'm the admin. I'll do this here for the um, this current tutorial. Um, and now, the other thing I've done is also install, oh, installed, got my old games folder, which is also on my users file. At the moment it's only got Police Quest 1, and this is Norton, Com Norton Commander, which I'll also show you how to install and set up within DOSBox, so you can easily uh, launch your games without having to remember all the mount codes, which I'll teach you first, and then the easier way comes second. Alright, for now let's open up DOSBox. Alright, here we go. DOSBox. 0.74 at the basic CPU speed cycles, 3000 cycles. This is what DOSBox will look like for you the first time you run it. No matter what, this is what it will look like. Now, to be able to load our games, because we can't play anything at the moment, we need to mount our C drive. Alright, mount C, because that's the drive you want to mount, which is on C. Users, because uh, that's where we installed it. Ah, sorry, actually, forgot. We've got to put in a quote marks around this. C, users, Daniel Thompson, slash old games. Alright, what this will tell it is that the C drive is located in, or will be mounted in, this folder, old games. And it's been confirmed that it's been mounted. We go C, load it up, and if we go dir slash w we will see that in the directory of c there is police quest 1 and nc zip if we go see pq1 we can now run the game from here if we run sierra or start in this case actually sorry and there we go police quest however we don't really actually want to watch Police Quest at the moment, even though it's an awesome game. Alright, let's quit. Alright, to go back to our C drive, we use CD. Dot, sorry, CD dot dot, sorry. Haha. -ha. Go back to this directory. If you ever want to find out what's in a directory, DIR, which is directory slash W, will show you the files that are located within that folder. Um, it won't work for the zip because DOS won't unzip the zip file, you'd have to use a, an unzipping program, which we'll do inside Windows. Alright, now we don't want to have to go through this every time we want to load the game. We don't Every time we want to do DOSBox, we don't have to sit there and go mount C. It's a rather long and complex process to constantly be doing over and over and over and over. Um, luckily, DOSBox comes with a quite simple way of solving this problem. Let's just move the screen here. We go to my start, and you can see it there actually, it's DOSBox options. We'll go all programs, just for the sake of this. And we've got DOSBox 0.74 here. We go down to Options. We have DOSBox 0.74 Options. Now that opens up into Notepad for me. If it doesn't open up into Notepad for you, um, it'll come up with a Open With option. Um, select Notepad, and you'll, find you'll get the config for DOSBox here. Now, we'll go through this later to set some of the other options, like Full Screen. We'll set that to true and which uh, output to be using. But for now, all that we really care about is coming down to the bottom of the config. And if we put anything in this auto exe here, which is uh, pretty much auto execute, 
um, the lines that we write here will be run the instant DOSBox starts. So in this case, what we want is mount C. Don't forget the apostrophes. Darth C users Daniel Thompson old games. If I can spell correctly. And then we'll put C. All right. We save this config file. And now, if we launch DOSBox, there again, you can see it's already run the mount C. It's already even loaded into the C. And if we want a directory check, we'll see that we can now access Police Quest 1 and the zip file, but we won't. So that's the first tutorial, is how to set up the auto executive so that, um, also executive auto execute, so that DOSBox will be mounting to the correct folder straight away. Um, obviously, in your case, Daniel Thompson is not going to be your username. So just add anything in there and well, whatever your name happens to be inside your user file into that. And make sure that you have the uh, apostrophes around it because if there's any spaces or anything like that, um, DOSBox and will not understand what you're talking about and will try and load some other folder and you'll just not be able to do it. So make sure you put the apostrophes around this little bit um, and make sure you've double checked what your name is, make sure you've got it all spelled correctly and then Bada bing, it'll load like this every time. Alright, see you in the next video. See you then.